Middle last weekend when there were some thrilling contests among the local drivers. Frankie Boudram was always in the thick of things, having great battles with Desmond Wing Kwan in the Group 1 Special Class 3 and in Group 2. He finished the day with a victory in the handicap event to register four wins and three seconds. Wing Kwan provided great competition, twice defeating Boudram into second place. The second time after a great battle in race 12. And one can expect another tough battle between Boudram and Wing Kwan. Wing Kwan and Boudram. Boudram losing control a bit there, gaining wall. Wing Kwan going right up behind him. the chicane into the bottom corner now and one can only sense that there's a lot more to expect in this race Wing Kwan and Boudram neck and neck side for side Wing Kwan spinning out off the course Boudram loses position for third up comes Mohammed with his hood off and there goes Mohammed's hood completely and some great thrills out there at Wallafield last weekend. Other drivers to take the honours were Clive Sugden with two wins in Group 1 special, Bindra Ramsing with three victories in Group 1, and Richard Knox who placed first and second in the respective events for the Group 4 cars, the single-seaters. In basketball, Mary... on the straightaway and uh, that's where the battle is going to be now but for first and then for third as uh, Sakdan still now oh 30 35 meters increasing that lead every moment on Ashley Mohammed Shakir is next Maya making another bid and in a challenging position the others Sukdu and Alexis out of it from Mohammed but as they pass, the battle starts. It's Shakir and Maya. Shakir now towards the inside. And uh, Maya on the top floor. Where to pass? Let's see what he's got. Go for the outside this time. And they go around the straightaway. They go right up to the top third. It's Shakir on the inside. Maya on the outside. And uh, Shakir still holding for a third position. Just ahead of Maya. And he's still quite in touch there. Maya goes past. Maya has gone past. Shakir might have just run off the track there slightly. We did see some mud and he lost position. Maya is now third. The question is whether Maya can do anything to catch these front running two. He doesn't have much time. And then Shakir, who I don't think will be bothered too much by coming to challenge Sugden. He is still just in challenging position, 30 meters behind. And at this stage, it doesn't seem that Maya has any chance really now of catching the front running too. Sugden as they go around the hairpin bend. So it's Zagdan, Mohammed still pretty close up and in a challenging position as they race now with less than half a lap to go. It is Zagdan as they approach the hairpin bend from Mohammed. Maya is going to be third and uh, in the foreground Alexis who is sixth and last and out of the race. As they race now just to straight and Zagdan will hold his lead. Just two, three callings. Zagdan wins the first event. Again from Ashmin Mohammed and the third place going to Jeffrey Meyer.
drive side, and the winner had a fastest lap time of 42 class D he's taking an early lead from pole position number one holding it as they go around the first turn Erica Sita who is in position number three she's in class C and uh, she's right up in second then comes Mark Modini escort Mexico number three in third as they go up the back stretch now so Moody off to a good start the Jamaican driving the escort Mexico in fourth is car number nine Zainul Mohammed they go around the bottom here pin corner it is still Bindra Ram Singh who leads from the only female motor racing driver in Trinidad and Tobago at present that's Erica Sita she's up in second in the silver reed Mazda in third it's Mark Moody Pista East has moved right up into fourth so as they complete the first lap it's Ram Singh Pam Sita Moody in third Eastern in fourth Zainul Mohammed is fifth has to be Mohammed next then comes David O'Brien so as they go around the Da Costa Jones corner it's still Ram Singh who leads from Sita not much between them then comes Moody in third, a few meters back in fourth, it's Eastern. And in fifth, we have got Zainul Mohammed. And uh, then uh, Howlin's trying to make a forward move right back in eighth and having a lot to do. 16 cars in this race as they come to complete lap two. It's Ram Singh who leads from Sitai. They're going to bottom hairpin Ben and Ram Singh did uh, slow considerably there. Ram Singh is in trouble as Sitai goes past and uh, Sitai takes the lead. The female drivers in front, up goes the crowd. Sitai and Ramsing coming down the straightaway. But Ramsing just getting past again. Moody is in third and fourth. It's Eastern, fifth, Zainul Mohammed. And they go into the top turn. It is Ramsing. Sitai loses position. She's now second. Moody third. Eastern next. Then comes Zainul Mohammed. Wide on the outside. It's one, two, six, making a forward move. That's Ramki Soon. He's gone right up into fifth. Sitai spins out and uh, has loose, loses control for a moment. Moody goes past in the second. Sitai loses third position as well as Ram Singh takes a clear lead now by some 80, 90 meters. It's in gear in fourth. Then comes Zainul Mohammed in fifth. Ram Kisun in sixth. Then comes uh, Soup Deo in seventh. A long way back in ninth. It is Howling. They complete the third lap. It's still Ram Singh who leads. Some 60 meters clear of Moody. Eastern is third, Sitai is fourth, then comes Zainul Mohammed. Now Sitai going up on Eastern. Eastern gets stuck behind Moody and Sitai goes right up. It's still Ram Singh who leads and uh, Moody is next. Then comes Eastern on the outside, Sitai on the inside. A lot of action in this race. There are more cars than in the first. As they go now, round at Acosta Jones corner, it is still Ram Singh who leads, passing one of the lapped cars, the Renault, and that's driven by B. Sitahal. A class A car, Ram Singh is class D, the fastest supposedly in group one. And uh, he leads quite by quite some distance now from Moody. Eastern is third, then comes Sita in fourth, getting stuck a bit behind that Renault, 135. He started in pole position number five, but uh, was quickly overtaken. It's Ram Singh who leads now. Two of the lapped cars before we come to Sita and Moody. This is allowed. Moody and Eastern to make some wrong on Sitai. Moody going up on the outside. Sitai stays on the inner. Eastern trying to come through the middle. These three really battling it down this way away. Ram Singh real clear. Eastern got stuck there behind the mini. And it's still Sitai who leads. Eastern on the inside. Moody on the outside battling it out for third. No, Eastern going up on the inner and going right up into second. Moody third. Sitai loses position and is in fourth. Still a long way clear. A lot of action in this race as far as second place is concerned. Now Eastern going off the track momentarily. Moody goes up on the outside to go fast. Just by half a car length. It's Moody and Eastern. Eastern holds position for second. Take Moody's third position and third. So it's Ram Singh who leads from Eastern. Erica Sitai in the Silver Reed Mazda. She's in third. Then comes Moody in fourth as they go around the top corner they've got less than a lap to race and uh, Ram Singh well clear Eastern pretty clear of the other two so the battle may be on for third now between Sita and Moody it is Ram Singh a long way clear from 
the second place Eastern and Ram Singh not sparing it though he's going right in he's got a couple of cars there to contend with those are lapped cars he's way clear and uh, now just easing a bit as he came through that bottom minus here the trouble C die runs off the track momentarily as Moody goes past for third but uh, they've still got a bit of a straight away to go and let's see if C die can do anything on that for third so it's Ram Singh who coasts in now to win from Eastern and here comes Moody and C die Moody still holding C die on the inside but Moody holds by a car length for third C die is fourth and uh, coming through some of the lapped cars before we get to Zainul Mohammed number 99 the winner number 42 Bindra Ram Singh who might have had some trouble at the end because he lost power and could only coast in but he had such a good lead that it was easy to hold Peter Easton getting second spot after some great battles was wrong the turns with Mark Moody and Erica Sitai Sitai trying very hard doing quite well early on and uh, at one point was leading, unable to contain back Ramsing, and in the end, just touched off for third place by Moody. Boudram, he's the holder of the pole position and is the one who's taking the lead. It's Boudram in car number 44, his run baby run escort, who leads by just over car length from Simon Gilmore in his escort car number 24. And uh, Gilmore held post position number two. Tom Miller. in pole position number three but uh, he has lost his place as they go in it is uh, Boudram who leads from Simon Gilmore and uh, Tom Miller is passing third he did get past Desmond Winkman at the end of the first lap so it's Boudram Gilmore Miller and uh, Winkman those are the top four and then a bit before we come to the fifth place car, that is uh, Alloys Hunt's Escort, number 35. Number 34, Ralph Tom, who started in the final position, he's out of the race. It's Boudram who leads Gilmore at the end of lap two. Burning up the tracks from Gilmore, a long way back in third, Jeff Miller's mini. Then comes Desmond Wing Kwan in fourth. Alloy Hunt in fifth. Ashmeed Mohammed back in sixth. Sukdeo and Thorpe. Took Boudram still holding quite a lead now, over 40 meters. Two laps race still. Gilmore trying to get close up, both Boudram and Gilmore just uh, off the track momentarily. The battle continues. Boudram up at the top corner from Gilmore. Still holding positions as they go around to the Costa Jones bend. It's still Boudram from Gilmore. Gilmore trying everything now to make up that deficit with uh, just one lap to go now after this one. Gilmore much closer in this lap than he was the lap previously. As these two come to take the bottom corner, Gilmore tries to go past on the outside and spins out. And he's lost his chance. He was touched by Boudram as he went wrong afterwards. But he spun out and Boudram has now got a clear lead. Thank you. 
with a lap to go, one lap, the last lap. It's Frankie Boudram and uh, Simon Gilmore there who spun out quite badly as he made his challenge, his last ditch effort, I would think. It failed. And now Boudram is going to be a comfortable winner of this one. He goes up the back stretch. Approaching the bottom here, Pin Ben. Gilmore now 250 to 300 meters behind. Tom Miller is still third, but he's out now. He's got engine trouble. And it's now Wing Fan who's third. But that won't really matter. If Boudram comes towards the checkered flag. Frankie Boudram, the winner of this race three, group two. Second place going to Gilmore for Bonner. And uh, he also has the honor of having the fastest lap in that race, 46.18 seconds. And uh, Simon Gilmore, who chased him all the way, but never had a chance after that final spill out, a lap from home. He also registered quite a fast lap time, 46.2. They start your engine signal has been given. And so the six single seaters prepare for this group four race over 10 laps. Added interest, Bob Howlings in his number six, Dassel. He is holding pole position number one as they come across the track. Frankie Boudram number two in his yellow grabber. In car number 44. Car number 14 is Richard Knox in his black grabber with pole position number three. Then we've got the number 13 car, Silver Clark. Number 52, Christopher Charlotte. The six single seaters as they go around the top corner. And a lot of action there on that first turn. As there's a spin out there involving Sylvan Clark, it seems. So as they go up the back stretch, the early leader is Bob Howlings from Richard Knox in his Brabant, who has gone right up Frankie Boudram in third. In fourth, it's Christopher Charlotte. In fifth, it is Lennox Bex Gonzalez, not doing too well. And uh, Sylvan Clark, after regaining control, is now back in the race and moving very fast to join the leaders. It is Richard Knox the completion of the first lap, Frankie Boudram is third. Lennox Bex Gonzalez comes back into the pits, he's out of the race. Christopher Charlotte is fourth, and Sylvan Clark now fifth and last and trying to make up some ground. It is still Knox who leads from Howlings. Howlings going up to challenge on the outside, and Howlings goes past. It's Howlings as they go into the bottom hairpin bend. Knox still close up on the inside, but uh, Howlings goes past. But Boudram coming along inside of Knox, who is second. Then comes uh, Charlotte in fourth. Now, beautiful driving there as Knox goes completely past Howlings again. So Knox regains the lead and goes play off Howlings. Boudram running neck and neck with Howlings. Boudram goes past. The Englishman in fourth is Christopher Charlotte and a long way back in fifth, Sylvan Clark who had that early spin out. It is Knox who leads now from Boogram, some uh, 15, 20 meters Howlins has uh, seemed to have lost some power because he's not showing the impact we've seen early on. In fourth it's Charlotte and Sylvan Clark still making an attempt but a long way back. Knox goes quite clear now of Boudram. In third it is Howlins and uh, he's in trouble because going past it's Charlotte. Into the bottom hairpin bend, they've got seven laps to race. It is Knox who's clear of Boudram. Boudram and uh, Christopher Charlotte out of the race now as Bob Howlins just goes through the motions of finishing to get third spot. Last lap, it's Knox who leads from 
But he's still going. He's so long ahead of Howlins. There's no chance of Howlins catching him. The question is if Boudram will finish. Howlins takes the last half sign as Knox goes on the bottom here, Finn Ben. And the Knox winning quite comfortably. As Boudram, who has slowed considerably, makes his attempt to coast in for second. the fastest lap time of 42.01 seconds. 42.49 Boudram's fastest lap time and uh, 43.92 Bob's ha Bob Howlin's fastest lap time before he ran into that engine trouble. momentary still having some trouble and it's Desmond Winkran who's gone pretty clear now of Frankie Boudram who's driving car number 144 it's Quan 32 Boudram 144 Sylvan Singh number 69 is third then a while back it's Clive Sugden in fourth driving car number 70 car number 21 Gary Huggins is fifth it is still Winkran who leads now in the white and blue escort from Boudram in the orange And Gary Huggins trying to get back into this race in fourth. But Wing Kwan now holding a sizable lead over Boudram. Into the chicane. And uh, around the bottom hairpin bend as Boudram tries all in his power to catch Wing Kwan. Wingquan now has a sizable lead over 200 meters. As uh, they race with just over five laps to go. and Ben with a very big lead over Frankie Boudram and uh, maintaining this lead which is the important thing Boudram doesn't seem to be gaining much ground One lap to race. So, Wink 
one and goes down the back straight. As Bull Graham enters the Dacosta Jones Bend. And now Wing Kwan coming home for a very easy win. Second going to Frankie Bulgram, a long way back. And the third to Sulaiman Singh. Car number 69. Because for this race, the group four going ten laps. Bob Howlins, Richard Knox, and Sylvan Clark, the three entrants. Howlins holds the early lead from the pole position. Knox, who won the earlier event, is second, and the third is Sylvan Clark. The, that's the way they're running. They've got ten laps to race. has been passed by Knox, who slipped them very early in the last race to get it to his position. Well, that is good. Well, his engines failed. This time, he's still running at full power and in the race. It's Knox, Clark and Howlings after the first lap as they go into the Costa Jones bend. It's still Knox, Clark and Howlings. from Clark and Howling. Richard Knox going even further ahead now as they go to the bottom hairpin bend from Selvan Clark and Bob Howlings. The Englishman in the race lying third. from Clark and Howling. Three laps gone, ten laps the distance. Clark going up on the inside of Knox and trying to go past and does on the top corner. So Sylvan Clark has gone clear of Richard Knox now. Bob Howling's close up in third. After race, six to go. Still Clark from Knox. Howlings, three of them very close up. And now Howlings going up on the outside of Knox. With Clark still the early leader. 
Three of them very close up. Five laps to race. They're on this fifth lap now. Still Clark leading from Knox. Howlins going up on the inside as they go into the bottom hairpin bend. But Howlins just couldn't get through and has lost a lot of ground there in that attempt. Still Clark from Knox. Howlins third. They're on the sixth lap. Quarter is after this one. Still holding a lead from Knox and Howlings, after that attempt to pass Knox, lost some gong and is now having some trouble in catching up with the two leaders. Knox got very close up on Clark there, but just got the shot as he tried to pass and lost some gong. And Howlings goes up alongside Knox now. But he still can't get past. So Clark holds the lead as they have just over three and a half laps to race. Clark building a lead now from Knox Howling slows up. Sylvan Clark comes out of the bottom corner, still maintaining a slight lead from Knox Howling, who has shown such good speed on these trailways. Still very close between the three, just over two and a half laps to race. Not two and a half, but one and a half laps to race. It's Clark and Knox. Howling third, very close up, the three of them. They're on the last lap. Simon Clark still holding that lead from Knox and Howling has dropped back somewhat. And uh, Howling seems to have lost some power there. So it's just the two of them, Clark and Knox, going along the back straight, not much between them. Clark and Knox out of the chicane into the bottom hairpin bend. Clark still holding from Knox, not much between them as they race now, just over 200 meters to go. Clark still holding from Knox, Clark is going to win. Sylvan Clark wins. And uh, Bob Howlings coasting down the back straight there. and it's Benjo Ramsing who leads from Erika Sitai. This class produced some very exciting racing earlier on when Benjo Ramsing won very easily, but there was a good battle on between Erika Sitai, Mark Moody, and Peter Easton for second spot. These three are now battling it out for third. The leader is Benjo Ramsing, driving car number 42 again, that mustard-colored Capri, and uh, in the orange-colored Escort, this deep orange, it is car number 61, Keith Singh, he's second. In 
third, Eric Asita in the Silver Reed Mazda. Peter Easton next, then comes Mark Moody. That's how they are racing. It is Victor Ramsey Moody from Keith Singh. Eric Asita, Moody, Zainul Mohammed O'Brien, Bon Kuntal, Dashmeet. It is still Victor Ram Singh leading from Keith Singh. Eric Asita third, and then the battle really on now for fourth as Zainul Mohammed holds the lead now over Peter Easton. So Mohammed has gone ahead of Easton, and in fifth it is Easton, sixth is Mark Moody, Dave O'Brien in seventh, and uh, Gordon Gonzalez close up in the eighth. Coming out of the bottom corner into the straightaway, at the end of lap number five, it is Binja Ram Singh who leads. Keith Singh is second, Eric Asidai in a challenging position now, close up in third, very close up Eric Asidai. Then we've got Easton. The leader is still Ram Singh as they go around to the Costa Jones bend. They've got just uh, a couple laps to go. As a matter of fact, they are coming up for the last lap. And uh, Ram Singh is the one who's leading from Keith Singh, who draws a bit further away from Erica Sita, who may have to settle for third again. Then comes Easton and uh, Moody, Gonzalez, they're really now rel really strung out. It's Ram Singh who comes now for the last lap sign. Followed by Keith Singh, Erica C. Dye, but I fear that she is not close enough to be able to get in and land the blow. Then comes Peter Easton and Mark Moody, Gordon Gonzalez. Those are the first six. It is Ram Singh who leads, a clear leader with half a lap to race. Very clear. And now of Keith Singh, Eric Asita is still close up in third, but I don't think close enough to land the blow. Peter Easton making some ground on Sita now in fourth, but it may also be too late for him. Mark Moody and Gordon Gonzalez follow. Ginger Ram Singh now approaches the bottom corner. <laughs> And here comes uh, Binja Ram Singh. Just uh, on the wire lapping yet another. Second going to Keith Singh. And then Erika Sijai getting the third berth. Fourth, Peter Easton. Fifth, Mark Moody of Jamaica driving the escort Mexico. And uh, sixth, Bob Howling. Frankie Boudram has taken a slim lead ahead of Desmond Winkwan. Gary Huggins spins out and uh, loses control momentarily as Ashmeen Mohammed goes up into third. So it is Frankie Boudram who leads from Desmond Winkwan. In third, it's Ashmeen Mohammed. Then comes Gary Huggins. Those are the top four. Winkwan goes past Boudram and loses control. Regains control, but Boudram has first position now. So we've seen a lot of action in the, only the first lap. And it is Boudram, Winkwan, Mohamed, okay, go to the top four. And one can expect another tough battle between Boudram and Winkwan. Wing Kwan and Boojam, Boojam losing control a bit there, gaining well, Wing Kwan going right up behind him. Through the chicane, into the bottom corner now. And one can only sense that there's a lot more to expect in this race. 
Wing Kwan and Boudram neck and neck side for side. Wing Kwan spinning out off the course. Boudram loses position for third. Up comes Mohammed with his hood off. And there goes Mohammed's hood completely. So we are seeing a lot of excitement in this one. It's Wing Kwan who leads from Boudram. And the pace really hot. Gary Huggins has run right into third and then loses his position because he runs off the course. Ashmeed Mohammed is next. And now as we saw in the previous group three race, Wing Kwan is starting to build up a lead. A lead which in the first event, Boudram could not make any impression on. over a lap to go and now Wing Kwan a clear 300 meters ahead of Frankie Boudram. gets through the last part of trouble, that bottom corner, and uh, now comes home quite easily to win this event as well. Second going to Frankie Boudam, and the third, a long way back, will be Ashmeed Mohammed. has got underway. This is a Group 1 handicap and the first to go is Vinda Ram Singh in his Mini, the Hulk. So Ram Singh has got a lap and somewhat. On go 1, 5, 1, 1, 2, 6, 1, 0, 3 and number 6. That's going to come down. And there goes the Silvery, 160. One, two, three. Vendra Ram Singh, number 42. Glenroy Alexis, 110. And the last one is Ashmi Mohammed in number 111. And Ashmi Mohammed leaves as Vendra Ram Singh completes his second lap. Vendra Ram Singh is still leading though because he was an entire lap ahead of the others. So Ram Singh leads still from number 151. Then O'Brien number one and three is next. So Gonzalez from O'Brien and the Silvery Mazda. Then comes Sukdeo. He's dropped right back now. The fifth. Ben Ramsing closing and making ground very rapidly. The other Ramsing that's Vinder, he's still the leader. He's got a three quarters of a lap. So 
with Sylvinder Ramsing who leads. He's up on the back straight away now as the second place, Gordon Gonzalez, goes down the straight away. Then comes David O'Brien, Meryl C. Dine, the Silverita's fourth. Vindra Ramsing is making great strides now in third in the orange colored number 42. The Silver Reeds of Mazda number 160 is driven by Meryl C. Dye as in, and is in fourth. So Vinda Ramsing now comes out of the chicane as Gordon Gonzalez prepares to go down the back. 200 meters separate these two. And then comes Vindra Ramsing, the big powerful number 42. He's next. Ashmeed Mohammed, number 111, nowhere near. He started last on the grid. It is still Vinder Ramsing who leads. His lead cut to about 150 to 200 meters as Gordon Gonzalez in car number six is making ground. And uh, here comes Vindra Ramsing in car number 42. Very, very close up. It's Vinder Ramsing who leads from Gordon Gonzalez. Vinder Ramsing is third, very, very close. And with that powerful car number 42, as they all come back to the ones that started back on the grid and that's what the handicap is all about. So Vinda Ramsing leads. There goes Gordon Gonzalez. Gordon Gonzalez has taken the lead now from Vinda Ramsing. And uh, Vinda Ramsing is third still in the mini. But Gordon Gonzalez is going to have to do a lot to hold off car number 42, Vinda Ramsing. Because car number 42 is very powerful. There's just a lap to race. And I don't think he will. No, he won't. So they've got a lap, two laps to race, two laps. There's handicap event. Car number 42 is taking the lead. And I'm pretty sure we'll hold it. Car number six, Gordon Gonzalez is second. The Silver Reed Mazda of Meryl C. Dye is third. As Vinder Ramsing, the one who got the best handicap, he's way back in fifth now and uh, losing ground steadily. Ashmeed Mohammed is still backing it out, but he's a quarter of a lap behind. So they come out the bottom corner now, and they've got just one lap to race afterwards. Vindra Ramsing from Gordon Gonzalez. Third, it's the Silver Reed Mazda of Meryl C. Thai. Then comes David O'Brien, Kentucky Fried Chicken Dutch. Peter Easton is fifth. Sixth is R. Sukhdeo, seventh is Vindra Ramsing. And Ashmeed Mohammed, who started last, is eighth. And he now passes Vindra and could go past Sukhdeo. up the back straight away into the chicane and into the bottom bend it is Binja Ramsing who leads Gordon Gonzalez is second uh, but not close enough to trouble him third is the Silver Reed Mazda of Merrill C. Tai for David O'Brien trying to go past Pete Easton is fifth and Ashmeed Mohammed is sixth Binja Ramsing the winner of the group one handicap race second Gordon Gonzalez number six Coming for third, the Silver Reed Mazda of Merrill Sitai will hold off the challenge from car number 103, that's David O'Brien. In fourth, Peter Easton gets fifth, and Ashley Mohammed, who started last on the grid, gets sixth. Start of the handicap for two, three, and four, two, three. That's number 44, Frankie Boot, and the last 
point for Lee. Number 44. Six entrants. The leader is star number 151. Then comes number 21. That's Gary Huggins, Robert Amar, number 20, is third. Then comes Desmond Wing Kwan. Simon Gilmore, driving number 24. And the final is number 44. One swoop there is still the leader. Bean Challenge now by Boodram, who goes past, and uh, so good. Boodram is still behind. Swoop there. Swoop there. Uh, Boodram's main competition should come from number 24, Simon Gilmore, who is just ahead of him. And I'm sure the fact that both of them are racing so close to each other. It's going to help to bring them even closer. First Gilmore, and then the rest of the field. Pedway as he moves towards Sukdeo. He's now just about a quarter of a lap behind Sukdeo. Here, Bhutan still making up some ground on him. And he is succeeding somewhat. Still soup there. From now, wing plant. Daddy And Bujam closing the gap on Gilmore. So Bujam is right up on Gilmore now, but the important thing has got to be that Gilmore and Bujam both get closer to the rest. The lead is now half a lap. As Sukdeo passes in front of us. Wing Kwan is next. Huggins loses control momentarily. He's third, Amar fourth. Bujam goes up on the outside and gets past. Not that far behind. It's less than half a lap. So now they're all on the same lap, and I believe they're just three laps to race. Oh. 
Edmund Winkran spins out and he's in trouble. Huggins and Amar go past. Winkran holds fourth behind Boudram. Well, there goes Winkran's chance, I would expect. Boudram goes in the Sukde is still out in front. Boudram goes up and gets third. So Sukde now comes into the chicane as Robert Amar and Gary Huggins and Frankie Boudram all come out of the Costa Jones bend. And Winkman spins out again. And that's the end of him, I would think, as far as winning this race is concerned. Two laps to go. And it is still Sukde Oli's from Boudram, who's gone right in the second. Gilmore has come up in the third and is still in a good position. Still Sukdeo leads as they come round the bottom corner for the last lap. Boudram is gaining, but is he gaining fast enough in this handicap race? He's going flat out. He's got 150 meters to make up. Gilmore is definitely going to be third. And Boudram is really going at it now. Sukdeo leads Gilmore right. Uh, Boudram right up under him. As they go through the top corner, five car legs separate. Gilmore is third. Boudram, as they go through the Costa Zone, Boudram and Sukdeo. Boudram coming up on the inner, and he's past them. Frankie Boudram goes past. Sukdeo is second. Can Gilmore now try to make up ground on Sukdeo? Still got a lot to do. As they go into the last corner in this, the handicap event. To the bottom corner, Boudram is all alone. The question is, can Gilmore make up on Sukdeo? He is going neck and neck, side to side, and it is Gilmore who gets up. So second, Boudram first, Gilmore second, Sukdeo third. Pretty interesting finish to this handicap race for the bigger classes. Frankie Boudram goes off on his victory.